ASEAN's credibility will be further dented if the group does not issue a joint statement, said Singapore's Minister for Foreign Affairs, K. Shanmugam. The bloc failed to reach a consensus for the first time in its 45-year history after a summit in July. The fact that we didn't issue a joint communique last month has dented our credibility. It's a setback. And if we can't agree, then it will be a further setback. ASEAN talks broke down in July over the South China Sea dispute. China claims sovereignty over most of the South China Sea, which is resource-rich and crisscrossed by many shipping lanes. And ASEAN members Malaysia, Brunei, Vietnam and the Philippines assert competing claims. Mr. Shanmugam called for unity within ASEAN. It was regrettable that ASEAN failed to issue a joint communique at the end of its ministerial meeting in Phnom Penh last month. That has dented ASEAN's credibility. However, thanks to the considerable efforts of Indonesia and the support of ASEAN member states, the ASEAN Foreign Minister's statement on ASEAN's six-point principles on South China Sea was released on 20th of July, 2012. We regrouped to some extent to buttress ASEAN unity and centrality. ASEAN as a whole has to be bigger than any single issue. We are now consulting with fellow ASEAN member states on how to handle the draft joint communique, which contains many areas of agreement between us on how to move on towards our goal of building an ASEAN community by 2015. Mr. Shanmugam was speaking to 330 guests from the diplomatic community, ministries, statutory boards and schools at the ASEAN Day reception in celebration of ASEAN's 45th anniversary. Mr. Shanmugam also touched on the importance of young people to ASEAN, which has a combined market of 600 million people and a GDP of almost 1.8 trillion. Looking ahead, for ASEAN to be successful in building a people-centered community, ASEAN will need the participation and contribution of its young people. Approximately 40% of ASEAN's population is below the age of 20. It is for them that ASEAN is being strengthened. It will be they who will in turn steer ASEAN's future. Well, I think it's very important to have ASEAN because ASEAN is basically um, a group of countries that are very bonded together. And I think in this globalized world, it's very important that we have um, a group of very close um, countries that we can communicate with and work together and share our views. I think ASEAN is very important to uh, ensure long-term economic growth in within Southeast Asia. We feel that ASEAN is very important uh, that to forge a common identity as well as to share ideas. In the next clip, Mr. Shanmugam gives his views of the cabinet reshuffle.